Hello. Hey, everyone. Hey, um, how and you doing? Hey. I'm so excited about this one. So thanks for having me, Ms. Burley, and taking the time out as well. Um, and we are fellow Oakland people. So I Oh, come on, hometown. I'm home right yeah. now. Hey. Born and raised, but yes. Um, I first actually caught you on um, You Can't Fight Christmas. And I fell in love with um, your character on Ambitions. I was like looking for like, where is it? So I was looking for you. That's, that was my thing. Okay, so with you now, those are like very strong women roles, I would say in both, even though you can't fight Christmas was like a softer, strong woman role, right? But she still had her, uh, um, do you feel that being from Oakland um, kind of, and being raised around strong representations of women kind of helped you be able to grasp and play those roles the way that you did just, you know, based on that? What I love about this question is you already know the answer because what Oakland does for us, it gives us confidence. Like I will in any situation be it good or bad. I, I have that I'm from Oakland attitude about it. And, and I will, and I have said I'm from Oakland as if that means that I have some superpower, but, but I really feel like being from such a, um, I don't even know what to call it. Such a, fruitful place, such a dynamic space, such an artistic place. Um, it, it, it just roots and grounds you um, that you're okay with yourself and you feel like you yeah. have, up, you know, because you're from Oakland. So um, I, I really feel like being from Oakland uh, gives me a confidence that is like none other. And when I say I'm from Oakland, people back up. <laughs> they be like, yes, oh, right. Back through. Okay. <laughs> So right. it's somehow okay. respected across the board, but yes, my hometown, I love my hometown. They actually gave me a key to the city um, back in 2015, right after I did Sparkle, um, I got a key to the city. So every August 18th is Braley Day in Oakland, California. That's a fun fact. Um, I'm in Atlanta now, but I got to go back and visit just for that. That is cute. Yes. Congrats on that as Thank well. You. Yes. As they should, though. They should. They should I that. love it. Yes. Press on that. Thank you. Um, and we have, oh. Oh. Um, we have um, you got your question in or no? Did I come in too early? Okay, I just want to ask one more question about the thickness part. Just one, it's a quick one. And I'm gonna go first. Okay. Okay, so um, I, I heard you mention that your thickness got you quite a few roles other than that, right? So it enhanced some things for you. Do you feel that most of that is due to the fact that most people feel or think that Hollywood is requesting the small frames or has been for so many years that there's a lack of the full figure women in order to play these certain roles? So do you feel like that was a leg up to I mean, uh, you could look at it as a leg up most certainly because, I, you know, what I've heard over the years is they want you to be thin because that's where all the women are, are getting or all most of the women in Hollywood are thin. Right. So right. that's an interesting way to switch it. Well, the opportunity is to be thick because then there's less in this pool. Uh, that's interesting. I never really thought about it like that, but that's most certainly. Uh, but I feel like. Um, I just didn't work as much when I was thin. And I don't know what to attribute that to. Uh, and maybe I'd never got used to that thinner body or something. And I'm more comfortable in, in, you know, having my thickness so I can be more authentically myself. Because I think the way your energy shows up in a room, depend, you help people see you, right? So it's right. like, they see me when I'm comfortable. And so when I'm comfortable in my own skin, perhaps I book more, you know, book more roles. So Maybe that's just what it is. I was born to be this way and it works for me. So, yeah. Right. Well, yes. Kudos on that. I love everything about it. Um, congrats on all your success and everything that you're doing. And thank you, you and Mercedes as well for your time. Yay.